Today in FreeCAD, we will be making the Titan 1M from the Titans of CNC Academy. Just before we get into FreeCAD, let's head over to the Titans of CNC website. We are looking for the drawing for the Titan 1M. Now you do not have to register to download the file, however, registering is free and gives you full access to all of these learning resources. So let's scroll down. Learn CAD, CAM, and CNC. We're going to go to the CAD. And then we're going to scroll down here to the Fusion 360 design, the Titan 1M. And over on the right hand column here, you'll see the Titan 1M drawing PDF. We're just going to click on that. And here we have the three prints for the Titan 1M. So go ahead and download this PDF and we will get started in FreeCAD drawing the Titan 1M. So let's create a new part. We'll go to Part Design, create a body, create a sketch, select the X and Y plane. We can press R for rectangle or we can come up here to the toolbar and grab the rectangle. Then we can select the horizontal, it's 4 inches, the vertical dimension, 1.9 inches. Now we come up here and close the sketch. We can click on this icon for pad or up here in the toolbar for pad. We're going to make this 0.75 inches. As you can see, we now have the part. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a datum plane. So we click on the datum plane in the toolbar, select the top surface, click OK, select the datum plane, create a sketch. If you want to turn the datum plane off, just come back over to the model tab to the tree view, select the datum plane, press the space bar, select the sketch again, and go back to the tasks menu. Now we're back in the sketch. Now we need to create the holes. So we create the seven circles. And now I'm going to put a dimension a diameter on it. You can select that from the toolbar, constrain diameter. And I'm just going to put 0.2. Then I'm going to come over here to the elements tab, select the circle that I dimensioned, come down, select the last circle press shift, select all of them, press the E key, or you can come up here to the toolbar and select the e equals constraint. That makes them all the same size. This does not affect the hole size when we make the hole. I simply do this for, for simplicity and clarity. So now we're going to dimension the holes. You can use the dimensions from the toolbar, the horizontal, and we're going to put that at 1.15. And I'll go through and dimension all of the rest of them. If you want to know what all the dimensions are, you want to see the prints, you can download this from the Titans of CNC Academy, and I highly recommend it. The next dimension is 1.15, 2, 2.85. and 3.85. Now we can use the vertical dimension. This is 0.15. This is 0 0.3. 1.216. And 1.75. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here. So we have these dimensions. Now we're going to constrain some of the circles. So we're going to select the first circle here and the last one. Press the H key, which brings it horizontal, or you can select it from the toolbar up here. Same thing, 
select the two center points of the circle, again, H. We're going to do a vertical on this one down here in the corner. And this is going to be V. And then the last one over here in the bottom right corner, it's going to be H and V, horizontal and vertical. Now we can see that it's changed green, so it's fully constrained. So now we're going to go over to the model tab. There we go. So it's changed green and we can see that it's fully constrained sketch. So we can close the sketch and we're back in the part design. And now what we need to do is the holes. So we're going to select the whole hole command and we're going to set the diameter here. And the diameter of these holes is 0.1772. Oops, let me just go back in there. Okay, so it's 0.1772. The depth is 0.58. The depth is, the depth is 0.58. The type of hole we're going to use is a countersink. And the diameter of this countersink is 0.209. Now we're going to click OK. We have our holes. The next task that we need to do is we need to create another sketch on that datum plane. So select the datum plane, create a sketch. Now we're going to make the interior pocket and also the, the pocket on the outside of the part. So the first thing we need to do is make a rectangle. We can select it from here. We can push the keyboard shortcut R. Now we're going to dimension this. The dimension around the perimeter of the part is 0.3 inches. It's the same on the horizontal and the vertical. So I'm going to put the dimension in here of 0.3. And I'm going to do a horizontal dimension of 0.3. Now I could come down here and bring a piece of geometry through. Whenever I want to bring a piece of geometry to be able to use it in this sketch from a previous sketch, you have to use this command here, which is linking the edge, or you can use the keyboard shortcut X. Now, I want to reference everything off the datum plane, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to select that and delete it. So the part is 1.9 inches. So I just so double the three and subtract it. So this is going to be 1.3. So I can just select that and I can use the shift H. Uh, sorry. So I'm just going to select this and I just use the vertical dimension and put in 1.3. Now the horizontal dimension, select this same process three times 0.3 times 2 gives me 0.6. The overall dimension of the part is 4. Subtract 0.6 from 4 gives me 3.4. Okay, that part's completed. Now we need to put the circles around here. So we're going to use that tool that I meant that we just went through. We're going to use that external geometry tool and we're going to select I select I like to select the inside circle. I don't know that it make, doesn't make any difference, just my preference. We're going to pull, link that geometry and we need to link this hole as well. So the first circle that we're going to do, now you can select it here. I've set up a keyboard shortcut, changed some of these keyboard shortcuts and I just make this on the C key. So just make your circles. Okay, now the diameter of the circle, you have your 
radius and your diameter. So on this one, we're actually looking at the radius and the radius is 0.313. And then on this one, it's 0.188. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna select this circle and this one, and I'm gonna put the E key, press the E key, or select it in the toolbar and equal it. Now we're just going to trim it. So that part's completed. Now we have to create the bottom section of the part. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the line tool. You can use the L key or from the toolbar. Make two lines. Next, I'm going to select the circle and the end point, and I'm going to make them tangent and do this for both. Now the next step is I'm going to put a 45 degree dimension on both lines. And trim this. The next step, we have to make a circle. And I'm deliberately putting it off so you can see when I constrain this, I'll select this, and we're going to constrain this vertically. Now the keyboard shortcut for that is V, again, and or you can use the toolbar icon up here. Now it has the dimension so it's in the center so it's in the center at two inches over. Now we need to put the distance from the datum down. So let's put the vertical dimension in and this is 1.65. And the diameter of this circle is 0.195. Now we need to do the same thing, put in a couple of lines. Same thing again, tangent and tangent. The difference I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make these lines parallel to the previous ones and just extend this. Now we have to pocket this out. So I'm just going to draw a line outside of the actual part. And if you notice how there's the horizontal constraint beside the toolbar here, or beside the, um, beside the icon for my line. So it's automatically gonna constrain that. As you can see, the constraint is here horizontally. So now what I'm gonna do is just pull these out and I'm just gonna trim these. That's it, we're done. Now we have five degrees of freedom here. We don't have to dimension all of this so that it's fully constrained. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. So we come back over to the, we close out, we close out the sketch, we come back over to the part design, and now we're just going to use the pocket tool and it's 0.5, that's it. So we have our part. There's only two things left to do for this part. That's to make the inside fillets and the chamfers on all of the external and internal edges. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll select the internal vertical edges. There are 10 on the inside and two on the outside. So holding down control, select these two on the outside over here. Now the remaining ones are all on the inside. So I'll run through this, I'll speed this up. Okay, all the edges are selected now. Now we can select the fillet tool and the fillet on this is going to be 0.195 inches. There we have it. The last thing we need to do is select all of the external and internal edges. So let's start with the internal. And we just select all of these line segments. I'll speed this up. Okay, now that we have all the line segments selected, 
Now we're just going to select the chamfer tool and we're going to enter in a dimension of 0.01, 10 thou. And there we have it, the Titan 1M from the Titans of CNC Academy.